Welcome to this new step of our world tour of biotech ecosystems. After a documentary over South Germany, we visited Northern Germany. During two weeks, we traveled to this large region, going from Berlin to Dresden, Leipzig, Cologne, Düsseldorf, Hamburg and Greifswald. We met the largest German biotech, the first German biotech which got financed through crowdfunding, as well as many dynamic SMEs and startups. This video will give you a unique view of this biotech region and you will be able to compare it with the other European and American regions. Enjoy the movie! Welcome to the first step of our Northern Germany tour. We are here in Berlin, the capital city of Germany, which counts over 3 million people and has top universities as well as big hospitals, such as the Sarité, one of the biggest hospitals in Europe. And so this leads to a big biotech ecosystem and the city counts over 200 companies. And so before visiting some iconic con companies, we're going to pay a visit to Biocom, a company which is expert in the German biotech ecosystem. Let's go. Hello. Hi. No, so can you explain to you more details about the uh, ecosystem here in Germany? Sure. I mean, we do a regular survey of the biotech industry uh, here in Germany. And um, last year actually showed some very good development of the companies that we find here in Germany. So there are nearly 580 dedicated company as defined by OECD. And these together employ nearly 18,000 people. And um, for the first time in history actually, their combined revenues hit the 3 billion euro mark. And um, one other interesting development that we saw that after years of um, decline, the expenses for R&D uh, increased again, which is good news because it shows that the companies are alive and uh, they are actively developing products. And this is also um, reflected by the fact that the investments in these companies um, again increased um, and they, they were higher than um, in any year since uh, 2010 marking uh, 400 million euros. Um, most of it uh, came in in form of venture capital um, but also we saw actually three IPOs of German companies not in Germany they chose places outside of Germany. Nevertheless, it's, it's good news because it also shows the um, maturity of the, of the German biotech sector. Hello, welcome to Mollegen. Mollegen is a biotech company founded in 1998 here on the campus of the Free University. Behind you, you can see the building where Mollegen was founded. Mollegen is a biotech company focusing on cancer immunotherapy. Right now, we are around 60 employees have a clinical development in advanced clinical development with one of our compounds in colorectal cancer in a phase three and in small cell lung cancer in a randomized study in phase two. And you are public, publicly listed? So yes, this, uh, this is a very interesting story with Mollegen because uh, with the foundation in 1998, uh, Mollegen was one of the first the German biotech companies going public. So it went public in 1998. Since then, all the developments are funded by the investors of Mollegen. Altogether, we raised until now around 130 million euro. Hi, and uh, welcome to Metabolomic Discoveries uh, here in Potsdam, in uh, the north of Germany. We are a metabolomics company in the biotech uh, field. And uh, what we do, we, we have this platform to measure hundreds to thousands of uh, small molecules. And uh, using this knowledge, we provide services to the industry, but also to academic institutions. And at the same time, we develop products like um, diagnostic uh, biomarkers for diseases or for um, healthy aging. And can you tell me more about how you interact with this ecosystem here in Potsdam and what are the in Germany? Yeah. We are located here on a scientific campus in uh, Potsdam Golm, in fact. And um, this is a huge science campus with uh, three Max Planck institutes and uh, two Fraunhofer plus the university. And um, we originated out of uh, one of the Max Planck institutes and we have um, 
quite some interactions with those institutes, but also with the university here, but also universities in Berlin, for example. Second step of our tour, welcome to Saxony capital, Dresden. Here we will visit one company and then we will go to Leipzig to visit three company and the BioCity cluster. Let's go. Welcome to uh, Rybox. Uh, Rybox is a biotech company uh, based in uh, Dresden, more precisely in Dresden Red Boil. Uh, our um, business model is to uh, generate RNA, that is, as you know, a substance that is highly active to stimulate innate immunity or being used uh, for RNA interference, for instance, and make out of this substance, out of this technology, a product and this is what the name Rybox stays for. Rybox is RNA in a box, meaning a product that can be used for clinical uh, studies, but also to be used by scientists as RNA interference reagents. Okay, and um, why are you based here in Dresden? Now, uh, historically, uh, my uh, company was a spin-off out of the medical faculty uh, from the University Hospital of Dresden. And uh, actually, I was... Um, really surprised when I learned that uh, this location, this uh, place here in Red Boyle, is uh, the location where 120 years ago uh, the first uh, industrial production of a substance called uh, salicylic acid was made by Friedrich von Heiden. And salicylic acid, as you know, is the precursor of the acetyl salicylic acid that is aspirin. And aspirin uh, w has been made uh, by Bayer for about 100 years now. So really at this really precise location are where the first uh, industrial production uh, lots of, of salicylic acids that then uh, gave aspirin. Welcome to BioCity Leipzig, the place for biotechnology in Leipzig to be. We are in a small incubator building with some uh, 31 tenants dedicated for biotechnology, some service providers here on site as well. And yeah, we are the nucleus of what's happening in the life sciences in Saxony. Okay, um, how are Leipzig and Saxony positioned uh, in the German biotech ecosystem? Well, Saxony as a state of Saxony, uh, it's still a very young uh, bioregion. Uh, we started in 2000 and uh, back then there was almost no bioeconomy. Now there's some 125 companies around. Uh, most of them are in the vicinity of Leipzig or in Dresden. Um, so coming from zero to 125 is quite a good thing, I think. Hi. Hi, uh, welcome to Selecta. Um, Selecta is, a, is an industrial biotechnology company and um, we are focused on um, developing and producing enzymes and strains for industrial applications. How do you interact with the German biotech ecosystem? Um, yeah, we, I mean we founded the company here in, in Leipzig and uh, it was uh, founded as a spin-off from university. So um, transforming uh, something that is taking place in academia into a company is of course difficult and yeah, we found a lot of support here um, by the university but also by the biotech cluster management telling us how to fund the company, how to get financing, how to write a business plan and so on. And uh, yeah, now it's great to be part of a cluster where a lot of biotech companies are um, there and you can of course share knowledge, you can share your experience and. Uh, that makes, that gives a lot of synergies and that's something we appreciate. Hi, welcome to Vaccinova. Vaccinova is a producer of autogenous vaccines and a diagnostic laboratory. Okay, and how do you interact with the German biotech ecosystem? So, we looked especially for this place here because we have interaction with uh, companies in the same field. Uh, or with the Leipzig University with his veterinary faculty next door. Welcome to Skill. Um, we are here at the Weinberg campus in Halle, where Skill is located in this building here. And in this building over there, Skill Proteins is an expert in protein engineering. We do protein engineering screening and selection systems 
in high throughput uh, systems and we use our technology for technical applications like diagnostics or um, affinity purification. Okay, and why are you based here in Halle? Good question. Halle is an excellent place for protein chemistry. So we, ha we are here in the middle of the university camp campus. We have lots of technology centers. We have this center here and this center. We have others on this side and over there we have uh, life science departments of the university. Uh, we have ongoing partnerships with lots of departments there. It's a perfect place to recruit talented and experienced people uh, working in protein chemistry. And that is one of the most important reasons that we are here in Halle since more than 15 years now. We are now on the far west side of Germany in the city of Aachen which is located next to the Belgium and Dutch border. It's a really nice city, which was home of Charlemagne a few hundred of years ago. And now, let's have a look to the biotech ecosystem and visit the company PS Biotech. Hello, welcome here at PS Biotech in Aachen. It's a pleasure to have you here. Can you tell me more about what you're doing? Yes, so PS Biotech is providing polymer-based solutions for biotechnological application. And our first product is called the feed plate. And um, with feed plate, we can offer our customers a reliable fat batch situation directly in the micro titter plate. Sounds great. And why are you based here in Aachen? So the technology was invented here in Aachen University. And I myself, so as the other founders, were also working in university. And we slipped into this project and we thought it's great. And uh, we did some market research, of course. And we saw that there is a big need for things like that. And yeah, we decided to start the company. Great. Then. And how is the location of Aachen compared to other locations in, in Germany? Aachen is a beautiful city, of course. Yeah. And we are close sitting still to the university, which also gives us um, a good um, situation for cooperation, of course. Then we have the border close to Belgium and Netherlands, which is also quite fine. And to Düsseldorf and Cologne, it's also near, so it's a good spot to be. So we moved from Aachen to Cologne here, which is the biggest city of Western Germany and the capital of the Ruhrgebiet. And Cologne is also one of the biggest biocluster in Germany. And we are right now here on the BioCampus Cologne, which you can see behind me. And it's really the heart of the biotech ecosystem. So let's have a tour. Hello, welcome to the BioCampus Cologne. The BioCampus Cologne is one of the leading technology parks for life science companies in Germany. The campus covers about 25 hectares and uh, contains about 30,000 square meters of rentable space containing bio labs, clean tech rooms and offices. Uh, currently, 25 technology companies uh, with over 1,000 employees are located here. For example, established bio companies uh, like uh, Ioxa, Axiogenesis, Derevo, Zividon and Nexigen. From startups with uh, their first lab to multinational companies like Bayer, Lonza, Sanofi with their own facilities, a whole uh, company's life can be uh, provided here at the campus. Hello and welcome to, to Axiogenesis. Um, I'm very happy to see you here. And what is Axiogenesis about? Axiogenesis is a company that is mostly about stem cell derived tissue, which means normal tissue that can be generated from adult stem cells to have, um, to have something to work in drug discovery systems that can, compare, that can be compared to normal human tissue. Okay. And why, how did you, how were you founded here in Cologne? I founded actually the company some 15 years ago here in Cologne. And at first we thought about using stem cells for transplantation and very quickly we identified that these um, these end differentiated cells like cardiomyocytes that we produce on neuronal cells uh, can be used for drug discovery even better uh, and whenever the technology from Yamanaka came into the picture 
we were even able to, uh, to switch everything into the human system and now produce human cardiomyocytes, cells from the heart, uh, um, and put them into dishes and do electrocardiogram with normal heart, heart cells that you have in your, um, in your, in your heart uh, and can use that for drug discovery. Hello, welcome to Melema. Melema is a private clinical stage company. It was founded about one and a half years ago and uh, is owned by a group of private investors. Following successful proof of concept in clinical trials, Melema will seek partnerships in industry and revenues from partnership agreements will be invested in uh, further developments. And how is this region of Cologne involved? At least since the so-called Bioregio funding initiative of the uh, Ministry of the Federal Ministry of uh, Education and Research for the promotion of biotechnology in Germany from 1997 to 2005, uh, the Industry Association BioRiver, with many many well-known companies, has arisen. Um, including Biopharma, Milton Biotech, Kiagen. And one of the 20 technology parks in the Bio River region is here, the BioCampus Cologne. Well, welcome to IOXA Biosystems. IOXA is all about measuring many proteins in small sample volume. That's important for academic research as well as for biotech companies, pharma companies, and in the future we hope we also have a true impact in diagnostics. And, and why is Ericsson based on this biocampus in Cologne? Well, I mean, as, as you know, we already started in, in Singapore and then we try to actually see what is the best environment to grow in. And other companies like Amaxa, um, Miltony, Kayagen are in a very similar space and they're all like now our direct neighbors. So we felt it's a perfect environment for us to grow as, to the next stage. We are now at the end of our visit of the Ruhr area. We have seen that this region is really dynamic in terms of biotechnology. But before leaving, we will interview Bitop and a giant company, Kayagin. Hello and welcome to Kayagin here at the operational headquarters in Germany. Uh, Kayagin is the world leader in sample to inside solutions, what we call. What we mean by that is that we provide technologies that allow to transform biological material into valuable insights. And this is what we do for 500,000 uh, customers worldwide. Um, company has been founded in 1984. We have 30, more than 35 locations in 20 countries with 4,300 employees. And uh, yeah, this here is the operational headquarter. Okay. Um, how can agency the German biotech ecosystem? I think in Germany uh, what you can see is when you look at uh, the research landscape that you have excellent research that is being performed here. Um, many of the Nobel Prize winners of the recent years, I mean you will see, um, came from Germany, many of them also using Kajin technologies. Uh, however, what we are see that we're struggling with that we don't have enough companies that have reached a critical mass to also commercialize their success uh, worldwide. I think there, this has to do with some cultural issues that we don't have enough entrepreneurship in, in, in Germany, but also with a regulatory framework. If we look at the reimbursement landscape, for instance, you know, where new innovative diagnostics for instance, are not being reimbursed. So there's not very many incentives actually that uh, really help to drive um, more um, biotech companies in Germany to succeed. Welcome to BTOP AG in Witten in Germany. Um, we are producing extremophilic microorganisms to extract extremolites out of these and to prepare raw materials for cosmetic applications and filled and finished medical devices for the use in different indications all over the world. Okay, um, why are you based here in Vita? 
Well, uh, Beatop was originally um, a spin-off of the University of Witten-Herdecke and um, so we are continuing to stay here in Witten because we have a, a sound base of employees and a good surrounding for the company here. It's almost the end of our trip. We are now in Hamburg, north of Germany. So Hamburg is really famous for its harbour but also for having invented the hamburger. It's also home of a lot of biotech companies and we're going to visit one of them working in the 20 field of gene therapy. But before that, please admire the beautiful view on the city. Yeah, welcome to GeneCoin Biotherapeutics. We are an early stage biotech company located here in Hamburg. We were founded in 2012 and we are developing gene therapy treatments for chronic joint diseases. Great, and can you give me some reasons why you are in Hamburg? So obviously Hamburg is a beautiful city, but it also has a very strong biotech cluster here uh, and the local government, they're supporting and fostering innovation. So we also found an um, investor, a local investor in the city, uh, and that makes uh, Hamburg a perfect place for us to be. Last step of our tour, here we are at the north of our North German tour. We are in Greswald, a student on a holiday city. Greswald has also a big campus in biotech and we will visit one company and one project. Hello, welcome to Biocon Valley, the cluster of life science and health in Mecklenburg-Vorpommern, Northern Germany. So we are the networking agency for life science industry and to bring in innovations from science into business. We do that by information of uh, scientists and companies. We bring them together, make the networking, and by that try to mobilize project, demands demand-driven. And then we work on internationalization and public relations. So our region started as one of the German bioregions, 1996, <coughs> in this building, in this startup center where we incubate new companies, where they do have the optimal place to live and to propagate. And um, since 15 years, we nearly tripled the numbers of companies from 45 now to roughly 120 life science companies, employing now more than 4,000 people. Okay, and um, how do you interact with the German biotech ecosystem? So as I mentioned, we started as one of the 17 original bioregions in Germany, like Berlin, Munich, Cologne, Leipzig, Hamburg. And still we are in close contact with them. <coughs> we meet every uh, second month in Berlin or any other place but, um, and organize the yearly conference, uh, German Biotechnologie Tage, where all companies and research groups and also representatives from government meet together, discuss about progress, discuss about challenges and uh, bottlenecks to overcome. Hello, um, welcome to the pro project High Care. High Care is an action alliance against multi-resistant bacteria. We are working in a consortium of about 40 partners from big and small industry, from healthcare providers, from academic and we um, developing and evaluate standardized as well as effective um, processes and products um, to prevent and combating the wider spread of multi-resistant bacteria. Hello, welcome to Enzymicids. Uh, Enzymicids is an enzyme production company and a process development company here located in Greisheit in the uh, southeast of uh, uh, Germany. And we work for the pharmaceutical and chemical industry and develop processes to uh, use the toolbox of the nature for the chemistry and uh, pharmaceutical industry. Okay, um, why are you based in Greifswald and on this campus? Yeah, um, this Greifswald is our founding uh, area. We are a spin-off com company uh, 2009 founded from the University Group of Biochemistry from the University of Greifswald. And we have very strong connections to the university. We have a collaboration contract between us and the university and we can use the knowledge from the university the library and the knowledge from the university for our work is very good for us. And we live in Greifswald, we work there where the other people make holidays. 
We are now back in Berlin, as you can see with the part of the Berlin Wall behind me. And first of all, I want to thank you for following us until the end of this tour. So we have seen 16 biotech companies, from small ones to large ones. And here, in North Germany, companies' profiles are really diverse. And industrial biotech are more represented than in other regions we visited before. Again, it was great having you with us, and we are looking forward to show you a future video of our world tour. Tschüss.